Deadpool and Wolverine. The trailer is finally here, and yes, we're going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, Varians. Thanks for joining us. We are talking about Deadpool and Wolverine, the trailer. Uh, we wanted to get this out sooner, but we just want to take time to take everything in that we've seen thus far and, you know, just kind of see where all the references and Easter eggs and stuff kind of go. So I am joined here by Tony, a resident uh, DC Revenant here. And um, yeah, we're going to just kind of jump right into this trailer and just kind of see what's going on as we watch it. So here it is. So we'll set up. All right, so I'm telling you, I got freaked out when I saw Wade with hair. Like, what? What is that? Yeah, so Wade with hair was definitely freaking very funny. So we we see a couple of characters right off the bat. We saw uh, Al. We saw Dopender. We saw uh, Colossus. Megasonic. Yeah, that's my girl. Yeah, uh, Shatterstar, uh, Peter, Yukio. Uh, they're all present during this. Uh, this kind of gives us a nod to definitely what happened at the end of the last Deadpool movie where he ended up using the uh, Cable's time device to kind of run around and do a bunch of stuff, uh, undo things that he did not need himself or Ryan Reynolds to do at all. Um, yeah. And in the process, he saved a couple people. Um, I think... Yeah, this is, you know, you mess with time, time tends to mess back. That's kind of that whole kind of same thing that's going on. So uh, I don't know where they're kind of, where they're going with this or what the setup is because we still don't know what time this takes place. Yeah, we don't know if it's before, after, during anything. We just know it's somewhere. I mean, are, are the first two even still canon? Do we know? I mean, as far as I know, they're still canon until we see something otherwise. Like, I, I want to know how they're going to play out uh, in terms of everything with the TVA, all the time variance authorities, um, stuff that happened within Loki series compared to now. Yeah, because right. I don't recognize any of the TVA folks. Yeah, none of the, none of the TVA stuff was recognized. So, if, let's say, again, you just see the main main cast of, of people here and again we'll, we'll just have to kind of play it out and see what what kind of thing we see that obviously something's up with vanessa like he seems like he's not all there are they i mean are they even together because remember I, I don't know later in the trailer she called him buddy so i'm like yeah oh she called him buddy she's not even really like Affectionate. You know, she's kind of looks like a little standoffish or that. He looks genuinely like hurt, <laughs> depressed that she's like not really paying him any attention. So, and he's giving out a speech and very heartfelt uh, as far as what he's feeling. So, which is not our normal Deadpool. Like we we get these kind of things uh, from him uh, during his serious moments, and the fact is that that's what we're starting off with. It's kind of like. Oh man, like what's what's going on? What's the, what's the real gravity of the situation? But then he makes this wish, and we get TVA at the door. And I, I was trying to look the, look at the uniforms, and I'm like, they look kind of upgraded from the Loki series. Yeah, they they're definitely one. Uh, I'm used to the TVA, of course. Them showing their faces. Yeah, so that they weren't afraid to come in. Like this is who I am, and I'm doing whatever. Like these three are masked up for some reason, and they look like they're a hit, like a hit squad. So I mean, they they must know their target, so they might have sent the elite task goon force. So, with this being said, as far as their their upgrades and stuff, like you know who's who's running the show, what what what's the deal? Um, so. Yeah, uh, we'll have to see because they came out, you know, ready right off the bat. Funny part, funny part. Hey, right, this is the part where we get know, some Mar- Marvel is used to it, but Disney's not. 
<laughs> yeah, this is this is the pegging reference. He looks directly at the camera when he makes the pegging reference because we saw him getting pegged in in no, uh, one of the first movies. movies. <laughs> he was like, "Nope, nope, I'm not with it." So um, again, seeing him make the reference, and again, this is a Disney has taken over and they're allowing it to be R rated, and we're getting all the little fun stuff that goes along with it. Can't have like, a PG thirteen Deadpool. That's already been proven. You cannot have one. Yeah. So this is this is great to to see and again he's not pulling in punches like he's gonna talk about where he's gonna talk about and we're gonna get the uh the fourth wall breaks uh repeatedly so yeah he gets snatched up by the tva and taken in uh so what this leads me to believe especially with how he set up here and uh this is paradox and apparently wade you know, let one loose in, in transit. On purpose. Uh, you know, on so purpose. On, on purpose, on purpose. So, Paradox, uh, he's known for being, uh, he's pivotal in the story uh, with She Hulk. Uh, it's him and uh, Ouroboros, and She Hulk is, uh, she, I think She Hulk is in trouble. I can't remember which comic it is. She Hulk is in trouble because she had talked about something. I think she warned uh, Hawkeye of his death. At some point, and she kind of got brought into trial um, throughout the course. Now, of that, was was that before Avengers disassembled? I can't remember. I really got to go back and do some research. That's the comic I remember. Well, uh. it is possible, but uh, I just know that that whole thing kind of blew up, uh, and Ouroboros and uh, Paradox I think were killed in that in a, in a subsequent battle after that. So. So he is a real character. So yeah, he is a real character with that freaking he you don't see that's why I see him now, him coming in now stuff makes sense as far as uh him being stern because again with his name being paradox and that's kind of the thing that he deals with. Um we'll have to see how they decide to uh play out this story, uh, as far as what's what's Deadpool's whole role in this. Because you see, he's taking it and this was let, lets me kind of think that it's post what happened with the TVA Post because Loki. yeah because beforehand the, what happened with Loki he got snatched up brought in processed put in yeah suit, here he is you know and you no know, went off to be the god of stories or whatever they, isn't that what they called him yeah so this he he's pretty much being he's snatched up but he's being walked through he's not being restrained he's that's like but where are the other TV agents that we know yeah so some of them stayed behind. So, are we going to see any of the people that we know? B thirteen, like, well, what was what, what's what's the deal? Because again, when certain things ended, we saw that some stayed behind, some faced off. Like we saw, uh, Ravona was uh, out there on on the planes dealing with uh, Elias was like coming in where she was because she was at the end of time and all that stuff. Um, Loki was sitting in his chair and he was doing his thing. You know, Holding he got, the multiverse together. You know, he got it all together and shaped it in, in the shape of the world tree. So uh, it was interesting enough that, that that was a setup. But this this scene right here lets us know that, you know, Wade's been kind of getting by. He's got a name tag. He's he's working a part-time job and he's like he's hung up his mercenary suit. That's a shout out to Free Guy. Yeah. That blue shirt guy, movie. freaking yeah, yeah that's, that's definitely that a shot blue shirt guy. Um, and you see he's wearing a blue shirt, and it looks like the same shirt is kind of hanging up in the background. Uh, that that light blue that he was wearing. Uh, so definitely a call out to that. But yeah, it looks like he's he's hung up his boots, so to speak, and he's just trying to make a an honest life, so to speak. And basically, Paradox ends up talking to him, and it's like, yo, what's 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 going on here? What, show the monitor. The, Say again. Show the monitors, because it it goes is literally going through the progression. So you got Iron Man, the Avengers, and the Ragnarok. Yeah. So the first two are Ultron, Age of Ultron references, because uh, that's where he slid in and did his blast for a couple guys trying to get in the gate, and that's where they did their jump scene. And then we got Thor Ragnarok. Now I don't know why they put Iron Man in there because he sucks. I'll leave it to you. 
Anyway, as it's going, you see that there's different things because they even put in where uh, Deadpool had accepted a award for their, uh, I think they got a, like an Emmy or something like that for their uh, football club. Welcome to Wrexham. Uh, in the bottom left corner, you see him wearing the Deadpool mask while accepting the award. They even put that in there in the, in the bottom corner. So uh, some of the, the they're, they're definitely taking recent events and stuff to uh, come into play. So I wouldn't be surprised if everything that's going on at Loki is at play. But again, we, we're not getting a lot from the way the TV, TVA, you know, process is set up. Yeah, I think uh, mainly they're just using the monsters to give a shout out to the main MCU timeline that was. And that's what was in the past. So, Because see, then you got Captain America. I, what's that on the left? Is it Winter Soldier? I think that is one of those. Is that he's fighting Batrock? Is that that is? I think. And I can't oh. tell the middle one. That's for you, the Marvel heads. Oh, yeah, that's so all he, cap. Yeah, it's all it's all cat. It's all Winter Soldier. That's one. The left was when like he was fighting. Uh, that's Batrock. Uh, Batrock. Uh, the right looked like he was up on there with uh, with Bucky. Up on the middle ship. one might be the elevator. Yeah, I can't tell. But. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's set up for it's set up for some type of mission for him. Like he's got to do something to help. Like they came, they they're recruiting him for some reason to get the TVA together. All right, so is it trying to put stuff back together? Is his stuff still in running rampant? Is it because he was jumping back and forth in time that you know they decided they wanted to use him um, because he already fixed a couple things? And that's not some of the things I was speculating with, uh, you know, a couple people I know. It's like, yeah, he may be trying to fix plot holes within the MCU. So maybe and there are a lot. Like it's it's quite possible. But even here, so that we get the I know can, who that is. Who is that? Again, that's, this is that's Polish people. That's Professor X's evil sister. Uh, what was her name? Sandra oh, Nova. Cassandra, yeah, freaking. I was like, freaking. That's was like, the oh. evil ball headed professor. Yeah. So, uh, back to it. He had a twin, and they got into like a, a psychic fight in the womb. In so, womb. It womb. They, they were going at it in the womb, and like he defeated her there, and I think she's been out for revenge ever since. Yeah, uh, and she's just as powerful, if not stronger. Yeah. Uh, I would say strong because she's not she's she doesn't have any restrictions like Charles does. Like she's Charles the is trying evil to be, version never has restrictions. Yeah, so it's definitely gonna be something. But uh even with that shot, we we saw uh these vehicles moving in the background. Uh again trying to figure out where they're moving at, what they're doing. Uh, but obviously she's looks like she's the architect of some of that. Um, we get into trying to figure out what her motive is, um, where she's been at this whole time, what her motive is, what she cast out, because again, that looks like part of the world that was kind of cast out. Uh, whenever we see, I guess, other versions of people, they get sent to that that area, right? Remember that wasteland? Uh, that oh, they I hope they don't through. call it Genosha. <laughs> I hope that's not what they're doing because you know, leave that for Magneto, please. Yeah, so here we get a slight look at Casino, we get a look at uh, Patch. patch. Here. Yep. yep, I was just about to say that it looks like Patch. So it's Patch. Uh, so this is Patch, and now again, it's rumored that this is possibly being played by another actor. Train well, yeah, I heard the rumor that it's going to be multiple Deadpools, multiple Deadpools, multiple freaking Wolverines. Uh, multiple Wolverines was just supposed to be two, from what I heard. Multiple Deadpools is actually going to be a slew of Deadpools. Uh, I believe it's supposed to be Wade, uh, Dogpool, yep, Lady Deadpool, and then one other. I, what's, what was the head? Because it was probably just a floating head. I can't remember that one's that one's name. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I do know what you're talking about. But there's there's multiple versions of Deadpool, especially uh, 
and the thing is we could also see uh, uh the one where all the pieces of him that were dismembered because remember he was broken in half several times Correct. over the years and all the dismembered pieces end up getting together and forming their own uh their own consciousness uh, hey can we agree that patch is one of the worst disguises ever yeah he's just running around looking like freaking <laughs> james bond just I mean, and, it, and the thing is, this also could leak up to uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier because Patch mainly resides in what? Madripoor, right? Yes. So the word was, uh, for, uh, what's her name, Matt? She was in Madripoor. Uh, Sharon. Sharon Carter. So as at po- some point in time, she could have crossed paths with wolverine patch you know at some point in time if they reside in the same universe or if this is still a separate universe what's going on again we don't know what uh designation this this universe has uh, as far as the fox universe and how far it transfers over to this but again with wade being who wade is and being able to fourth wall break he knows that he's in a movie he can literally be anywhere running separately and be brought in very easily. And Can we just stuff. destroy the Fox universe altogether, except for Nightcrawler? Just keep Nightcrawler and destroy everything else. Is that possible? Because I hate those movies. I hate all those movies. They're not gonna. They're not gonna let that fly. They, they need to. They all the movies, except for Nightcrawler. He was the one saving grace. I, I love Nightcrawler. I love how he had somebody zip his crotch and smack him on the butt uh, to get him ready. We all knew that in our lives. I mean, it was fantastic. I can't do that, though. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Now, I will say this was one of the coolest scenes. This was one of the coolest scenes. Like, he was kind of getting in. Was, him suiting up, getting ready, and then how he's loading everything up. Uh, it's fantastic. So, he's taking out everybody. So, obviously, he's up against the TVA at this point, uh, or whoever these people are as far as they're related to the TVA. And he's he's taking them out, and this looks to be um, where um, what where they were coming to take over with Baron von Strucker and uh, Ultron. Yes. So this is where the whole fight scene takes place, and this is where uh, and of course this awesome scene here, but we see this in the background. We see that Century Fox logo in the background. Destroy it all. Destroy it all. Except for Nightcrawler. Destroy it. So you see that the X is still standing, which is very prevalent for that. But the rest of it is buried like that. And we got Thank Deadpool God. kind of doing his thing where he is. Yeah. Like, and just I, so I, y'all know, that's not possible. So don't go home and try it. Just <laughs> don't somebody's do it. somebody's Come gonna on. be trying it. Somebody. And you're gonna shoot the wrong thing and just no, don't do that. It's movies. So some of these, so you see these vehicles in the background. These are the vehicles that were driving in the uh, in the little desert area, like that. And they're rolling these cages, with whatever this is. I don't know what's in these cages, but rolling stuff around. But apparently, so see the ice cream truck in the background there on the left above the motorcycles. Mm-hmm. Apparently, that's the same ice cream truck from Moon Knight. All right. Uh, supposedly, there's uh, there's helicarrier shots in the background from where helicarriers are crashed. Uh, this vehicle right here up front is supposed to be the Fantastic Four's vehicle, uh, supposedly. Uh, doing look at this while there are pictures, some fuzzy screenshots, but you know, the four logo was there, so uh, this definitely seems to be like the, the wasteland from the TVA and where everybody was kind of dropped off. So, like, different things from different timelines are dropped off here. I think they're nothing more than Easter eggs at this point because I don't think we're going to get any of that as far as this is concerned for Deadpool. But just kind of letting us know that you know things are connected because you gotta remember Moon Knight and Deadpool. They're similar when it comes to uh, you know Not work, work, work. They're gonna take out a lot of stuff. Uh, Fantastic Four is on the horizon. Uh, they're still working on the full casting and stuff for that. Uh, but Fantastic Four close with Spider Man. Deadpool also has a close relation to Spider Man with Team Red with Daredevil. Uh, she Hulk can also fourth wall break, who has a relation to with ship with Daredevil. So I'm just looking at how all these things are kind of interconnected all the way through. But, um, 
And I will say right there, it looks like um, he now has his comic accurate healing factor. Where he's he's quicker just to yeah. pop, pop back everything back in. It still takes him a minute to grow stuff, but him popping bones back to break is way faster than it's been depicted in the past. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was a hell of a carry in the background. So that that's one thing that I'm going to say. So that means Wolverine should also, his healing factor should be set up. So this one, see, so there's hell of a carry in the background. Don't know what this is. No I, will, I want to shoot down some of the rumors that that is not Dr. Doom. I've seen people saying that. Stop it. That is not yeah. Doom. It ain't no Doom is way too important to be introduced in this manner. And he will not carry a gun. Yeah, he does not need a gun at all. And he's not fully armored. So stop it. Doom, Doom will for, come in in all his glory and throw hands like a champion. Like, you're not going to dis disrespect Dr. Doom like this. It's not going to happen. But this device, which was looked like it was what was being towed in the back uh, of that little convoy, don't know what this is. Like this, it's set up to do something to either hurt somebody or draw something in. I don't know. But uh, the fact is that uh, as we saw a shot, so this is right here. This is uh, random sure. guy. One well, number one. <laughs> this this I'm pretty sure this is Pyro. That's that's not Pyro. Pyro's later. Well, he's got he's wearing the same. Pyro doesn't carry guns either. Uh, Pyro is a Pyro. no. I mean, he's one. He's he's wearing the same gear, so he's with Pyro. Let me let me correct myself. Yeah, there he is, right there. That's yeah, Pyro. So he's right here, but same guy. So they're wearing the same outfit, so they're paired together. Uh, Doctor Doom works solo for the most part. Like he's not worried about nobody else. Um, but yeah, this could be anybody. Um, Pyro is, you know, paired with Blob and, you know, others in the comics. The evil mutants. Um, the Brotherhood. Back in the day, you know, when the thing. So, uh, so those, those little submachine guns there, that's supposed to be Lady Deadpool, which is what's rumored. That's kind of her thing. She carries, the, instead of carrying uh, pistols like that, she carries the the mini SMGs as a uh, her primary weapon of choice next to katanas. So that's probably showing her off there. Um, we see we got the claw marks in here. Yep. Uh, I, I mean, they could be bringing together, uh, you know, some of the brotherhoods with that because it's rumored. You know, we got Sabretooth in here as well. There was some. Some footage apparently that was leaked or whatever that showed uh, Sabretooth, you know, being around. So, and again, uh, nobody, we can't have any surprises really. Anymore. And that's what I'm saying. I hate leaks because the payoff in this trailer would have been tenfold if it was no leaks. Yeah. The, the trailer would have been absolutely freaking wonderful if they would have showed us that stuff. Because when we would, it would have been the first time we would have saw the suit and stuff like that. The thing is, I'm going to talk about this stuff when it comes up because once it's out there on the internet, it's out there. It's going to circulate. We might as well talk about certain things. But the fact is that people do so much hardcore digging just to see the shot that comes later on where you, you know, have that and you see the yellow suit in play would have been just like, oh my God, they're, they're, they're doing it. They're doing it. You know, um, in just trying to see who what other, you know, characters are going to bring in stuff here. But he's obviously pissed. And again, TVA is still there to do. I don't know if TVA is trying to help them get stuff done. You see this or, payoff right here? You see this payoff? So we're going to get to this here in a second, over there to the left in a second. But it's just like, yeah, the payoff right here, fantastic. So seeing this, shadow and shadow, arms up, bam, is like that would have, that would have broke the internet. That, that right there would have broke it. That would have that done it right there. Bam, and the title. Yeah. Now, I tell you, it did break the internet because it is the most viewed trailer in YouTube history. Apparently. Imagine it without us knowing Wolverine. Was oh, in it. It, it, I think it would have been more. It, it would have been it more. Would, it would have broken it. It would have shut the internet down. It, it would have absolutely done that. So, even with this being serious, so 
here is the two things here one that bottle is the same bottle from the incredible hulk movie that stan lee drunk and there was that soda that oh uh, the one that had his blood in it yeah so that's the same company uh with that bottle and then that's secret wars secret wars number five is that cover it's got doom on the cover so doom appears in here but only in this comic book and this is where we get god emperor doom and beyonder it was in secret wars number five so you were talking about beyonder for quite some time you know uh about a, about a year or two ago uh pre-retcon beyonder is shit trouble for everybody everybody for right everybody you could put Thanos with the gauntlet against pre-retcon the beyonder and that's a problem he will have a problem with him and everybody's gonna have a problem with him so yes, this was so OP. it was he came, he turned himself into a baby so he could experience life come on now I mean it's it's fantastic you know writing as far as the character's concerned but you know now it's like how is this gonna play into Deadpool and Wolverine which is the official title of the movie like how is this gonna play out uh obviously Wolverine has some you know grabbing way like we don't know if it's, he's got beef right here or he's, he's helping him up in his own funny way because their you know, relationship is a, a pandering back and forth and of course with was at best uh Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds like that that natural chemistry is there already because of how they treat each other so um I don't know this is this is gonna be really good as far as storytelling is concerned I think because of how they're they're setting up for they can do anything that they want like literally anything they want TVA is in play Deadpool is in play again there's only there's been what three people that have uh fourth wall broke so far within the MCU so Deadpool she hulk and I believe Wanda at one point earlier so it's just like this is this, this is it Things so She Hulk because that show was trash. I mean, She Hulk okay. is still in play. Freaking, whether or not they're just going to completely disregard her, I agree with that part. Let's just not bring her back up. Uh, <laughs> I don't um, care. I the mean, show was trash. I, I was not happy with the show, uh, but, but the thing is, I like the She Hulk character. And I was I do like, like the character and she was done wrong. Yeah. So but again, I feel like they also they kind of they gave her the same treatment that they gave, you know, Hulk, Bruce Banner, like with Professor Hulk and sort of like Hulk isn't Hulk anymore. Was Hulk like, was never Hulk. Hulk was Hulk when Edward Norton. I mean, yeah, but he was still not Hulk. He was I mean, a that, better version. That was the we that have. Was the, that was the best version of Hulk we had to me was Edward Norton. Lou Ferrigno like, was the best version. Within you can't M even argue with that. You can't. I can't. That's, that's why I, I corrected myself and said within MCU. That's as better. Far as, I'll go with that. But the best live action was Lou Ferrigno, period. That, that yeah, was great. Lou, this Lou man Ferrigno had green was. body, he had green body paint. <laughs> and a wig. That wig was, <laughs> that wig was something else. He had green crocs. I lie to you not. They weren't crocs back then, but he had green ones. Uh, but, um, Go ahead. <laughs> so I don't know what other cameos that they're gonna have uh throughout this again you can bring back some you can bring back you know you got rogue you got iceman uh it's possible that the 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 dealer that was in front of patch uh somebody said that, that could be gambit, gambit. I will that. say hey. and you know I have a problem with this too many cameos in a movie waters the movie down for me I, I just, I I'm sprinkle. good. I'm good if we have eight, nine cameos. But when it comes to the point of every scene, you got to be looking for somebody. You cannot enjoy the story anymore. Yeah. All right. So give me, give me three that you're looking forward to seeing. Besides Wolverine. Besides Wolverine. Wolverine is in here. Pyro is in here. Patches, patches here again. We we know. The I fire. would, 
I would I would love a Cyclops because but you know that's my guy anyway. Mm. But also the dynamic between Cyclops and Wolverine is there. I would love we already know Cassandra's in there. I would love Jubilee again. Her connection to Wolverine. I'm 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 thinking of everybody that can play off of Wolverine. And I and I also like the the lower the unknown characters to people who don't read comics. So if I come up to somebody and say, hey, Jubilee is in here, most of them will be like, who? If you don't read the comics. But one I would really love, and it's just for CGI purposes, I would love Shadowcat. Okay. I would I would just love Shadowcat. Then I get a dragon. I mean, <laughs> it's just... Uh, uh, Lockheed, Lock yeah. yeah, I just think about it. I have a little dragon just fly around and then Shadowcat come phasing through things. I mean, come on now. I mean, come it's on. possible. I mean, you got Pyro here, so... Uh, you gotta have somebody in his. I, I we've done Iceman. I'm good. I don't want Iceman. I want some more unknown. I want the younger characters to come in. That way, you could bring the mutants with them. Official. So, I mean, yeah, if we we did Iceman. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see Iceman come back to, to you know, go just because Pyro. you got Pyro. Yeah, but I'm. I want people who play off of um, Wolverine because your love- your focus is going to be X Men. Yeah, your focus will be X Men. So that uh, I would love X Men. I would love X Men to again start to build up. So we already saw Beast. Yeah, so I, I would like to see Cyclops. A good version of Cyclops. A good version of Cyclops. So that uh, Cyclops Storm or like the too great. So Cyclops Storm and Gene kind of makes sense because uh, they were core. For most uh, X Men teams that we we saw growing up, um, it's of not course, Storm. It, huh? Not Storm. Not Storm. No, I, I would like to see Storm come in at some point. Um, I want to say, if you do, if you bring Cyclops uh, in, you're gonna bring Gene. Well, I mean, at first they weren't really a couple; they were just teammates. Yeah, they're just teammates. You know, so Marvel Girl, Cyclops. I would I would bring her man. in as as not Cyclops' love interest, of course. And, like literally have her just be there, and but then see, you, can you can't have. do that because you can't do that because then you can't play the dynamic of Wolverine trying to take Gene away from Cyclops. Again, you gotta you you have her lean towards him at some point. So that, but oh, again, it doesn't, it doesn't introduce have to you you introduce the younger mutants, and then when you start to get in to your X Men. You already have people who know about these younger mutants. So when they pop up and now you see Cyclops coming in and he starts to be the leader and now you can build a young core and then bring in your storms, your, your genes and your beast. And now you, and of course Colossus, cause he's going to be there. And then you have those and your three to four young ones. And now you have a core X-Men group. True. But uh, I mean, if you're going to bring in anybody again, I say, are you going to remake, remake it, Gambit? I'm curious. Gambit, Gambit one OG, so yeah, you can remake him. Is that for Channing Tatum? Is he going to? Is he going to no, get his Gambit? That. He's too old for that now. <laughs> is he going to get his Gambit? Uh, no. Uh, but he no, would have been a great I, Gambit I wanna, ten years ago. He'd have been a great wanna, Gambit. Because what I'm thinking is with Wolverine is this is probably Hugh Jackman's. You know, I hope so. Final outing is Wolverine. I hope so. And again, if they have the younger Wolverine present, then you can bring in the younger Wolverine. So you well, can bring add, back his daughter. Bring oh, X23 up. Yeah, she's, she's, she's out grown there. up. Yeah, she's she grown. grown. Yeah, she's grown up now. So you can bring in X23 as part of the younger X-Men. You know what? I want to take out Jubilee. I want to put in X23 because she's already she's already established. That's the thing. But her Logan is dead. Yeah. So when she sees this one, how is she going to react? Because remember, they were they became real close. Yeah. The whole moment, and she and she's already she's already set up and ready to go. So I was like, yeah, I, I, I rock with her. See, I'm gonna take out Jubilee and put in X23. Yeah, so Shadowcat X23 and Cyclops. Those are my three I want to hear. Yeah, I, I, I'll I'll go with X23 for sure. Um, Shadow, I mean Shadowcat was done before, but not correctly. And but not thoughts. correctly. And it was my box. We don't we don't speak of those. I keep telling you that. You Dude. know I hate those movies. 
Beast, but if, we, if Beast, if we, of course, if we see Beast at any point in time again, which we don't need to because we've already saw him in Marvel, uh, the Marvels, and so like that. Uh, but so Kelsey Grammer is a good Beast. He he he's the best Beast. It's you know out of the the two, like yeah, he's definitely the best. But one. you're gonna have to recast him because the ages don't match. I mean, if you if you keep him right now in the capacity that he's in. As far as uh, science and stuff like that, you you can kind of you can read you can retell the story a little bit different way. Like I think you could play it off where you have some senior members and the the new squad is coming up. That's so that. So because again, we saw several characters done dirty. I didn't like how Havoc was done. Darwin was oh, definitely Darwin was, never dies. I don't know what they thought about him killing him because that's not possible. He literally adapts. To literally everything. I remember um, one they tried to kill him and he just evolved into nothing. He evolved into like a space to exist. I was like, what is this? I mean, uh, there, there's options for stuff, but I mean, we we got to see. So everybody else, like, hey, so far you've been sticking with us. Definitely, you know, appreciate you sticking with us. Right, make sure you hit that little subscribe button because I want to know. Comments, who do you guys want to see in besides you know <laughs> better not like, suck? What what X-Men do you want to see come into play? What characters do you want to see? Like Doctor Doom is gonna make his appearance eventually. Secret Wars is on the horizon. Uh it's possible that this entire wasteland gets turned into a, a whole big, you know, battle world. It's we got <laughs> Oh, I said it. <laughs> it we got Shatterstar. So that we're gonna we're gonna look for, you know, everything else to kind of come into play and then really build a battle world, but again. Yeah. You know what? I'm taking. I don't want Shadow Cat. I want Mo. I want uh, Mojo. Wasn't that his name? The, yeah. the yellow dude with the with the do the baby yeah. legs, the metal leg. I want him, just because. No reason behind it at all. I just want him. I, I'll take him, but uh, yeah, go run with it. But yeah, that, that that's all we got for this one. We're gonna just speculate for time and time again to see what we come up with. The next up, we got uh, Madam Web, which I will be bomb. Gonna review on. <laughs> it's gonna bomb. <laughs> I'm saying it. And we'll, I don't we'll, care. we'll talk about it when we get to it. So uh, you can watch it. I'm not watching that. And, uh, it's gonna bomb. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> it's gonna be the worst so, movie ever in MCU, and that's saying a lot. Well, it's Sony. So I don't care. It, I'm associate everybody's gonna associate it all with the MCU, and that's the problem. That is the problem. I'll laugh if Deadpool addresses it. I will laugh my butt off if Deadpool. This is where it needs to be addressed. Because the movie comes out in what you know tomorrow right so is it tomorrow yeah it comes out valentine's day oh my god it is tomorrow so nobody's going to see that movie on valentine's day i am well i I mean you're weird and you suck so i I don't care for valentine's day either so it's not it's not my thing oh my god that movie's gonna yeah all right so we'll catch you guys in the next one